So here's what we're making. If I just click on this and do shift space to open prototype mode, you can see select all and select none work as expected. And you can still click on each individual checkbox and do select all, select none. So the way this works is super simple. I've just made a variable for every single option and set it to false. And that's done by going create variable, boolean, and just calling it option one through eight. And then I've got my checkbox component here, and this works exactly as you'd expect. So we've got some simple prototyping actions. So clicking on one changes it to checked, and clicking on checked changes it back to unchecked. So those are two variants in uh, main component. If you don't know about components and variants, I've left some links in the description for a way to get started using components and variants. Super powerful feature of Figma. You should definitely be using it if you're not. So now that we've got these components set up, when I drag an option over here, you can see over here in my variant options, I can set check to on or off, but I can also link it to a variable. So I just have to link it to option one and then duplicate it, rename that to option two, this is a text property, and then unlink it from option one and link it to the option two variable. So when I've done that for all of these, you can see they're linked up. And as I just tab through them, you can see each variant is linked to a variable. This means that when I change the variable state, it will update the variant to be the right one. So now that I've got my variants linked to variables, how do I make the select all and select none options work? Well, this is where you need to be on a paid plan. If you're a student, you can get Figma's education plan totally free. I've left a link in the description for how to do that. But if we just go to the prototype mode, you'll see for select all, all I'm doing is doing add, set variable, picking an option, and then setting it to true. And the same for select none. I've just got eight prototype actions which happen on click. So on click, all of these eight things happen. And I just find that under set variable, and then I can pick an option and set it to false. So that's how we make this super, super simple to do, and it will make your prototypes way more functional, believable, realistic, and allow you to test out way more when you're making high fidelity prototypes. Thanks for watching.